Okay, so we're now into part two of our free play of the Thor 2 movie level within uh, <laughs> Marvel Lego Avengers. And probably said that in the wrong order. And here we have, uh, we blew up a gold box here with Iron Patriot, and we've discovered that we need a Captain America uh, shield in order to deflect some shots back at an enemy. This is something we did not activate uh, previously. And so we're going to go up and grab um, some sort of Captain America character. In this case, Sam Wilson. Um, and after we get rid of some of the... Uh, <laughs> Some of these dark elves that uh, are here, because there are plenty of them. You know, hopefully we can get back on to the, uh, we can get back on to that little thing and actually do what the game wants us to do, which is deflect some of this fire back at um, the thing that's shooting it. All right, now there's a couple ways you can do it. You could try to uh, target it, or you could just simply shoot into the air and just let it um, let it get hit when it goes back and forth. Fortunately as long as we're on the shield point we are uh, indestructible so that dark elf can hack at us all he wants and it's not going to do much. Okay so we've Destroyed the thingy that produced a uh, mini kit over there. It's, you know, we got a fair amount of studs that got created. So three mini kits down, and now we're still in the middle of this um, part of the level where there's lots of dark elf activity. Now the nice thing about this is once um, once Sith joined our party, we now have a third character that we can uh, mess with. So right now we've got Doctor Strange, we've got uh, Sam Wilson, but we also have the Iron Patriot um, as our third teammate. And I kind of like these levels. I like the levels that give you the option of being able to have a bigger team. But there aren't very many levels uh, like this that do that. Okay, so what, we, what we're looking at here and another reason to be Doctor Strange is simply because you can restore your health. Okay, we triggered a doorway, but we don't want to go through that doorway yet. And the reason for that is, you know, first off, we, we're still killing lots of these Dark Elf guys, although it looks like we may have reached our quoted there. But there's still studs that we need to run around and collect, and there's some things that are just sort of um, lying around this room in the level that you can't really spend the time to go get in story mode because you're stuck with four characters who are essentially melee types, with the possible exception of four. So we're going to destroy all of Asgard's nice things uh, for the sake of getting its studs. And then you can see on the right, there's a place for us to go. Uh, you can't really get involved with the fighting between the uh, Asgardian guards and the Dark Elves. See, I didn't cr create any damage there. We can jump into this blue thing, and you can see there's a... Uh, thing for us to destroy in the middle, we grab a few studs, and a gold box that we can open up here on the right hand side and get a few more studs. So a little disappointing, I was kind of hoping to run across a mini kit or something down here, but it doesn't seem like that's 
quite the way this is working. There is a statue up top. That we can blow up. So we're going to blow up the statue. The base is actually separate. Um, and again, there's... We unlock a fair number of studs, but... Not really what I was hoping to uh, unlock from this. Knock down that tapestry to grab a few more studs. But on our side... Um, on our side, as I'm looking around here, is there's still a blue item on the, on the other end of the hall. So, you know, we destroy more tapestries. Destroy more stuff in the hall, and then we can walk into this uh, side of it. And then like the other side, it's got a thing in the middle we can blow up here. Alright, and that got us some more studs, and then on there's a gold box over here, again with just more studs. So that was a little uh, anticlimactic as well, but we're going to go up here anyway and destroy the last gold statue. So again, kind of disappointing that all that did was, uh, all that did was give us uh, some supplementary uh, studs. You know, it, you almost feel like, like we would have missed something um, over there, but destroy the remains of that door. You can see uh, Malekith and his guys escaping back there. So now we need to bust down that door. You remember we did it with a battering ram earlier. Now I gotta be careful about um, where I shoot in this room because there are lots of things in this room that can generate studs and if I shoot off into the distance there's a chance that I will miss something that I could have uh, capitalized on to create more studs. And of course, you know, you can destroy those little uh, rotating things. And we run into the fire and die. All right, so we're going to need to take care of that fire. Fortunately, we have a shield character, and we get the character token for Hogan, which is the second of the three character tokens we need from this level. We put out the other fire over here, and now we need to destroy the things that we can destroy over on the shrine, grab a few more studs. Same deal over here. And knock down this statue. And again, if we weren't stud farming, uh, this would this would not need to take this long because a lot of the stud farming here is completely optional and has nothing to do with uh, advancing into the level.
Right, so we knock down that tapestry entirely. And I think I don't I don't see uh, I don't see a third companion with this at the moment. So I think that at the cutscene um, we lost our third team member. And I think we're just down to two guys again. But if we see the third guy, obviously I will accept that I am wrong. There he is. So no, nope, we still have our we still have our three man unit here. Now this is this would be one man short of the unit we would have had in the story mode because we would have had Fandral and Volkstag uh, from the beginning as opposed to just one partner. And then we still would have picked up Sif, you know, a little way through. Alright, just doing a little bit of looking around here, seeing where I can uh, get some studs. Found a shield uh, computer over here. Which means that there will actually be a hydro station. Or there could possibly be a hydro station in the middle of uh, Asgard. So we're going to see our first uh, appearance by... Uh, Baron Zemo, I'm thinking. Once I build whatever this thing is, it looks like a mini kit, to be honest. Yep, there it is. So we've got our fourth mini kit. Um, so I'm going to go over to, to Captain America Sam Wilson and take it back. I'm going to go over to Doctor Strange and turn him into. Uh, Zemo. Right, so you know, once for shield, twice for Hydra. You get a huge amount of studs, but it doesn't look like that did anything else um, for us. I'd say there were lots of studs to get in Asgard, except that you know, as many studs as we're picking up, we're not getting necessarily any closer uh, to true Avenger status. We're at 50% about right now, and you would think that that would be a good number, but um, you know, we'll see as things play on. Maybe I maybe I die too many times. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and break the items that uh, lead to the creation of the battering ram. There's the bottom of it, and it's kind of funny. You can, you know, the purple, the purple glowing axe of uh, Doctor Strange is kind of eerie. You know, just in the in the shadows. You know, when you can't really see Doctor Strange, but you can still see his axe. All right, so now we've got that part handled. Unfortunately, there's another cutscene which may or may not prevent me from getting those studs. I'm thinking it pretty much does. Yeah, those studs are gone. So I keep building. You see we got to the activation point of of the thing right there. That's why it's telling me to hit the Y button, but I'm not ready for that yet because that takes me out of the level um, and moves this into the area where Curse is. So 
So despite my 214 uh, gold studs here, or not gold studs, just studs. All right, well, let's go in uh, advance, and that will send us on.